underused road lanes could be reserved for bikes or buses in the future. That's one option the Transport Ministry is considering as COVID-19 opens a window of opportunity to rethink traffic infrastructure in a more sustainable way. But an expert says these decisions can be tricky given that travel patterns are unpredictable, especially when coupled with the evolving nature of the pandemic. Cheryl Lin reports. While Singapore streets aren't quite this silent anymore, COVID-19 continues to influence travel patterns island-wide. With lower traffic and new travel patterns emerging, the Transport Ministry says this is a chance to reimagine road infrastructure. It cited the possibility of converting lanes for cyclists or buses, or carving out some streets as pedestrian only. One expert says much research will need to go into deciding where and how these ideas will be implemented. It's a wise to think about uh, uh, you know, uh, transporting some, some of the space for the pedestrian, uh, but exactly how much? Uh, it really depends on the, what kind of demand pattern we are going to see, which is uh, fluctuating uh, quite big time at the moment. Then two or three years later, when demand they kind of get back to the uh, where it used to be, uh, then, then what are you going to do? So I think uh, which roads or which uh, lanes that uh, MOT chooses um, must be carefully thought through because you, you don't want to exacerbate um, traffic volume in those areas. Uh. And the window opportunity could be small. Uh, we don't know how long this COVID-19 situation would happen, but once it uh, not disappears or dissipates, uh, the window can close quite fast. The Transport Ministry adds that telecommuting and an e-commerce boom have led to more sustainable travel patterns. It plans to explore ways to make some of these changes permanent, and Mr Saktiandi says it'll be a team effort across government. It needs to be not just from a transport perspective, but also working together hand-in-hand -hand with other ministries like uh, MCI to make sure our data connectivity uh, is there and make sure our e-commerce ability is there with logistics involved. Professor Park adds that going forward, changing attitudes towards public transport could see a greater desire to commute solo to avoid crowds. The cycling is actually the cheapest, most economic way of having your individualised transport. So we may have to think about very seriously how we are going to bring back some of the PMD and some of the, the cycling uh, back into the uh, transportation network. The Transport Ministry is pushing ahead with plans to nearly triple cycling paths to some 1,300 kilometres by 2030. It's part of wider efforts to ensure transport complements plans to make Singapore more livable, inclusive and sustainable. One way the National Development Ministry hopes to achieve this is by creating healthy towns for all ages to support the physical, social and mental well-being of residents. It's also pledged to keep public housing accessible and affordable and to lay the groundwork for longer-term infrastructure projects like the Greater Southern Waterfront.